Hey, welcome to Hunters Connect. In this video, I'm going to show the basics of cutting up an elk. So this elk is already quartered via the gutless method. And if you haven't seen that video, you can check it out here. So here are the basic things that I use. Cutting board, boning knife, tub for the burger meat, freezer paper, freezer tape, a meat grinder. I didn't have a meat grinder for a long time, so there are other options if you don't have a meat grinder. You can take it to a local game processor and they'll process your meat for a pretty reasonable price usually. We'll start with the shoulder. When I'm in the field, when I remove the shoulder, I leave the rib meat, the brisket, and the neck meat all attached into one large chunk of meat. So my first goal is to remove the bones from the meat. So up here you have the neck meat, down here is the brisket. You'll want to trim away any bloodshot on the meat. As you can see here, there's a bolt hole through the shoulder, so we'll need to trim around that in a bit. I lay the quarter with the outside down. When you get to the scapula, the inside is relatively flat, so you can fillet all of the meat off. You can kind of see the lines of the bone here. The lower leg is fairly straightforward. So cut along either side of the bones. You can kind of lift the leg and work the meat off the underside of the lower leg. When you get down to the scapula, flip the quarter and cut along the ridge of the scapula. Fillet on the either side of the ridge and you should be able to pull the whole leg bone out. I usually miss a little meat along the bone when I'm doing this, so take the time to cut any pieces that you missed and put them in your burger tub. Now separate the muscles. Cut the connective tissue between the muscle groups. Trim away any bloodshot, thick pieces of fat, or thick connective tissue. Depending on what your goal is and what type of meat grinder you have, you may trim more or less than what I am showing. I am taking sort of a middle ground. Some of these cuts have a lot of connective tissue that I'm leaving in, knowing that I'm going to braise and slow cook later. Also, I have a fairly powerful meat grinder. If you're using a small grinder, you may want to trim your meat to be very lean. So here are the trim pieces of the shoulder, neck, brisket, and back strap. So this stuff will all go in the grinder for burger. This stuff will be wrapped and packaged individually. To package the meat, I lay the piece of meat in the middle of the freezer paper. I fold the paper in half, roll it down, flip it, fold the outsides in, and tape it. The goal here is to not let any air be exposed to the meat. So people have different philosophies on how to package your meat. The most important thing, in my opinion, is to limit exposure to air. Some people use vacuum sealers to do this, which are great, but you got to remember that if you get a pinprick in that bag, your meat's going to get freezer burnt really fast. So you got to be very careful when handling uh, vacuum seal bags. Now for the hind quarter. Again, lay the outside of the quarter down. You can kind of see the separation of the upper and lower round here. Find the bone and cut alongside it. From the hip joint, pull up on the femur and cut the meat away from the bones. When you get to the knee, it's a little tricky, but working around it, you can get to the lower leg and cut the shanks away from the bone. You'll be able to pull that whole bone out and have all your meat still connected. Again, I take the bone and I trim any pieces that I may have missed along the way in this process and put that in my burger tub. Separate the cuts into various muscle groups by cutting in between the connective tissues. Trim away any undesirable fat, connective tissue, and cut into whatever portions you desire. Here are the pieces that I'm going to package individually, and here is what I'm going to grind. So now we're on to grinding the meat, and again if you don't have your own meat grinder you can take it to a commercial processor and they'll do it for a pretty reasonable fee. So I take my burger tub of all my grind meat, I toss that meat in the grinder and fill it up using these plastic bags. Just grind it once, I twist it, make sure to get all the air out, and tape it shut. All of this goes in the freezer and it'll stay good for years. So that was just a quick basic overview on how to process an elk. There are a lot of different ways to do it, this was just one way. But thanks for watching Hunters Connect. If you have any questions, drop them below and uh, be sure to check out all the other videos we have up on our YouTube channel and thanks for watching.